distinguished participants, colleagues, and friends. I am honored to join the 10th anniversary of the SEMPRA 3 Macroeconomic Research Office, better known as AMRO. ADB is proud to be a friend and partner of AMRO from the very beginning. Let me reflect briefly on the importance of this relationship over the years. When the Asian financial crisis hit the region nearly 25 years ago, it was clear that the SEMPRA 3 economies needed to solidify regional cooperation and institutionalize their financial safety net system. In May 2000, Atempra 3 finance ministers, who are also ADB governors, announced the first regional currency swap arrangement during ADB's annual meeting in Chiang Mai, Thailand. This arrangement aimed at providing an essential liquidity backstop for future crises. It later became a stronger multilateral agreement called the Chiang Mai Initiative Multilateralization, or CMIM, which came into effect in March 2010. And in 2011, AMRO was established. It serves as an effective, independent regional surveillance unit and supports the CMIM implementation. Together, we have achieved a lot. AMRO became an international organization in February 2016. With ADB's assistance, it has built a strong economic surveillance framework for Asampra 3 and a macro financial database system. With our support and collaboration, the region maintained sound macroeconomic fundamentals and avoided market panic, including during the global financial crisis. The COVID-19 pandemic has once again created stress and exposed structural weaknesses in the region's financial systems. But our cooperation has gotten stronger. In March 2021, at Emperor three economies increased the IMF delinked portion to 40% and allowed the conditional use of local currencies for CMIM financing. As we chart a path to inclusive and sustainable recovery, we should continue to work together to prevent financial stability risks and mobilize stable sources of long-term finance in the following ways. First, through increased cooperation in macroprudential surveillance and financial regulation. We will continue our regular meetings to share our views on the latest developments, the outlook for the regional economies, and cross-border policy challenges. As the current extraordinary policy support winds down, this regular interaction will enable us to coordinate our responses to regional risks and mitigate the impact of systemic shocks. Second, we can support recovery by fostering local capital markets. It will be important to deepen local currency bond market further in order to attract institutional investors for long-term infrastructure development. We have also supported ASEAN Plus 3 to develop local currency bond market through the ASEAN Bond Market Initiative, ABMI, and to offer credit guarantees through the credit guarantee and the investment facility. And third, we can work together by embracing innovations for sustainable finance. We need to tap new financing solutions that attract private capital and meet the growing demand for green and sustainable finance in the region. We should broaden regional level discussions on the regulatory regime to govern the use of environmental, social, and governance, or ESG, concept in financial instruments. Let me emphasize that AMRO and ASEM Plus 3 economies can continue to rely on ADB's support as we address these and other challenges together. Thank you and my warmest congratulations to AMRO.